right, this is an Eiffel House SID male body of review, and I have my Eiffel House SID Storm. This is the Storm Sculpt, um, and my doll's name is Artunis. So let's get to it. And with the power of movie magic, he will be naked. Sorry for the doll nudity, um, but I wanted you guys to go ahead and see him uh, without any kind of clothes or anything because somebody had requested actually seeing his sculpt a little bit better uh, without the clothes. And here's his back. Um, so you can see the detail of his sculpt and the muscle structure. It's very, really nicely defined. Um, the shoulder blades and just everything about his um, body is really, really nice. And he stands really good um, right out of the box. And um, I think he's, it's pretty, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, sculpt. And uh, yeah, let's get to the review. Uh, first, we start with his head. The head cap is connected with with just two magnets here and here. And as you can see, or can you? I can't tell. Um, it has his sculpt engraved in the inside of the head cap. It's a storm. And on the back, it has Eiffel House. Uh, the inside of the head has the S hook like most dolls and there's two eye sockets and you can't really tell very well because they're covered in putty and the actual eye putty is almost the exact same color as his skin tone. Um, so it blends in really well. Um, it actually says SID inside the head cap as well, inside the, the um, head. Like I said, magnets on the top. So that's the... Uh, it's interesting with it just being magnets. Most of my dolls have a peg and a magnet, and this is just magnets, so let's discuss the head. Um, mobility. He can look up that far. That's it. And down whoa, that far. So up. Down, side, to side. I do side to side pretty well, but it's very tight around the neck, um, where the head and neck are connected. It's it feels tight when you turn his head from side to side, um, so it's a little more natural to kind of do side to side like that. All right, so. Now onto his torso. He has a um, two-part torso. It's split here under the um, pecs. And um, he doesn't really have much that he can do with the torso. Um, there's that. Kind of can like lean back and forward. Slouch forward. I guess is okay. So um, there's that. And then of course any kind of weird side to side kind of movements. Which So let's talk about the shoulders. Um, his arms can only go whoa, hold on. Can only go out so far on the sides. They can't go like fully out. Um, I think it's because he has so much muscle. They just seriously don't go any further than that. Um, so, I mean, I suppose you could probably pull them out and stick them back in, like so. If you really, really wanted to get that, like, cool picture or something, but it looks kind of... The jointing is very... It gets kind of stuck around this point. So... Um, let's talk about the elbows. Look at those veins, guys. Like, check out all those veins. 
What? This sculpt is crazy. Alright, so I was talking about the elbow joint in the box opening video. And here you can actually see what I was talking about. They, um, Eibel House did this neat thing where when his arm is straight, it looks like a natural elbow. Like you can see the definition of a regular human elbow here. And even the muscles, uh, the muscle structure around. And this is how the part, the forearm bends. Um, um, so this is like normal bending and uh, obviously this, I forgot to say, this, the shoulder can go all the way around this way. It just can't go out very far. Um, but so there's this and then this is a two-part actual double jointing system. And the double joint is right here. That little piece, that, that elbow piece, pulls out and locks into the um, bicep here and then kind of does a double jointing there. So that's pretty neat because it adds a lot of more movement to his arms uh, considering that they only go out so far on the sides. See, this is fine. It goes out like that. So this adds a, light, a nice uh, bit of movement and like I said because of the way that it looks when it's um, joined it looks very natural and then this is when it pops out to give you a better idea. So it's got the natural look and you can see where the lines are where that little joint pops out. So on to the Hands. Alright, so he's got very nicely sculpted hands. Uh, there are two different kinds of hands, as you can see. This one's a little more closed and kind of welcoming, like reaching out for you. And this one's got more open fingers to kind of grab things. So, that's nice. Um, the joint here is a little interesting because the S-hook kind of, instead of it being like a lot of dolls have just one solid round uh, wrist joint here, this has this kind of um, apparatus where the S-hook fits into. And then this little strip here kind of covers over that, um, if that made any sense. But the wrist can definitely do a full range of motions. So the hands are not limited by anything except for just the sculpt, um, which is also nice. So. All right, his hips have this piece inside that locks into these um, molded grooves inside of here. It holds his legs a little more firm so that you can kind of do more natural posing with his legs. Oh, and as you can see with Eiffel House, they have seams um, all the way down the dolls, which a lot of my other dolls don't have because they sand them off, but it's not that bad. It doesn't really bother me. Um, he is a doll, I, I mean, so considering all the other details, it doesn't really, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, for his knees, they're very nicely well sculpted, like the elbows. Here's the backs. And you can see they're double jointed as well. And you can tell that because this is cut out. This piece here is a join piece. So, you can kind of see how he bends his legs. Let's see. So he can bend his, his leg all the way back, and I have a picture of him kneeling I will post because I'm having a hard time capturing the full body with all the details so you guys can see it good. Um, that's his knees, so that's nice. As well, it keeps the joint hidden behind here the way that they did it, just like the elbows. 
so that the knees are well defined so that when he is fully standing like straight without any bends he looks very natural and very human um, down to his feet um, they have the ankle joints which are hidden inside of the ankle the S hook goes into the foot like this so, which is kind of nice because then it gives a very natural movement um, to his feet. You can see because of the way that it's inside. Um, and that's really good for balance because of the way that like you pose him, he can look like he's taking a step forward. And his feet, because of the way that the ankles are inside, um, can help him balance really well. That's what helps him stand really well, as you can see. Um, he sits really good too. So. Sits pretty straight. I mean, his sculpt is just happens to be very muscular, so that adds a lot of bulk to his torso, but you can bend him forward a little bit to kind of straighten him on your shelf. Um, he sits on my shelf with his knees bent, um, kind of on the ledge, so if, it works really well, actually, and um, I don't have a problem with it. But that's basically it as far as... As far as the body review goes, um, as far as the SID, I don't have the mobility joint in the thighs. I just have general mobility, um, which for my purposes is more than enough. Um, but they do have it. They do have the option where it's kind of like another uh, separation here. They, there's a cut out here on the thigh and the, or the hip, and you can rotate his leg a little bit more. Um, I just got the general mobility and not that uh, upgrade or whatever. So he doesn't have that fancy thing. So that's basically it as far as the Eiffel House SID body goes. Um, it's a very impressive sculpt. Um, it is broad shoulders, much more broader than a lot of the other um, BJDs that are out there, especially in the male. Um, category as far as like as far as all my other dolls they're much more thinner and narrow um, whereas he's very broad which is a nice um, variety I like it because this is actually more realistic um, in terms of dolls a lot of people already in my my friend groups and stuff are claiming that he's their favorite because he looks the most realistic out of all of my BJDs but I mean, not that you can blame them. So that's pretty much how the SID Storm is. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If there was something that I missed that you really wanted to see, feel free to ask. I'll try to like get a picture or something and maybe do a follow-up video if I miss something. I'm really happy with them. Like I said, the seams don't bother me. I thought they would, but I actually, they don't and you can't even notice, like, you're not really paying attention to the scenes because there's a lot of other things happening here and that are taking away your attention from the scenes. So I think in that respect, Apple House, you did a good job, guys. I'll take some pictures and try to post those after this, but until next time, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!